So let me tell you a completely unrelated story. And it is, I have a dog groomer. I've had my dog groomer since, uh, for my dog, since I got my dog. I got my dog, I adopted him when he was three years old. He had pre-existing medical conditions. At the time I adopted him, I was basically almost straight out of law school, very poor, massively in debt, did not have the type of money I now have, did not have a business. I did not own a business. I worked as an employee for another person's business, which is you know, not a way to get wealthy in my opinion, uh, at least the wealth I have now. And uh, so my dog's been with me. Um, so I have three dogs and a cat. Uh, my cat is very similar. My cat and dog are actually the same age. They are 10 years old, but cats live longer than dogs. My dog is a medium sized dog. So his lifespan is 12 to 15 years. He's at 10, he's gonna turn 11 around my birthday. Actually, you know, I don't actually know when his birthday is. I just, I just kind of put my birthday as his birthday because that's what I did. So my birthday and I'll be 36, he will be 11. And yeah, his health is uh, deteriorating. And my groomer actually, when he was grooming him, uh, found actually two groomers, they, it's the same, it's a couple. Uh, they found a, a tumor and we had to go get the tumor um, again because it's, it's you know, it's dogs get old, bad things happen to old dogs. Did I have insurance? No, I didn't have insurance. Actually, when I got him, he came with insurance from his previous owner. Regardless, whatever, it, it costs a lot of money um, and it wasn't something that I was, you know, I had money in the bank for. Now, did I have the money to pay for it? Yeah, absolutely. Did I get the surgery? Yeah, it's, it's done, he's healthy now, and this is why I'm talking about this. So um, he's been, whatever, I don't forget when the last time my groomer's been here, but yeah, we, we I had it done that week. I think it was early March. He took a long time to recover. Now you can see in the videos, he has, you know, um, he's still kind of slow, a little groggy. Uh, he was on medication, you know, pain medication for a few weeks. And then, you know, when you grow up and I don't have kids, I'm not married, right? But other adult responsibilities make it so that cards like don't see that seem that important. And that's what I'm telling you right now is when I was younger, cards used to mean everything to me. Uh, getting this card, getting that card. As you go, as you become richer and wealthier and older and you, you start getting to your prime years of earning and you accumulate all the cards that you've ever wanted and then some, um, yeah, you make the realization that like that stuff doesn't matter. Like it, it really doesn't matter. Like how is having, you know, I have over 700 dual land. How is having another 701 dual land going to help me? I was getting 800 dual lands going out. It doesn't help me, right? Um, and in fact, you know, I would say that it's, it's a very, it's very wasteful for money. So when I look at alpha investments and the heavy bags and stuff, you know, instead of going on vacation, um, and you know, taking care of for me, you know, going hiking with my dog, spending time with my dog, you know, I just have a wall of product that I'm worried that somebody will break in and steal. And I think as I get older, I realize that this stuff is kind of worthless. Not in terms of, oh, you can't, you can resell it and so on. It's just not worth the time that I put into it. So forget the money. Forget the money, just wipe out your memory of money, right? There's no enjoyment I get from looking at my steel box collection. They're just a bunch of trash. That's what I look at it. But when I look at my dog, I remember, you know, when we started our company to get, I started my company with him, with my dog. I remember all the employees who used to walk my dog and, you know, um, all the dog friends he had and, you know, all the, the fun times we had with him. I had with him, my dog. And I actually, my employee, employee one, Amy tried to uh, negotiate uh, his, uh, uh, negotiate her, hit him in a severance package of some type. It was really weird. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm, I'm definitely keeping the dog, Amy. You, you're, 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 you chose to work at a different company. You cannot, you're not keeping the dog. You're not keeping the company dog, right? Um, yeah, and I think like once you get older, you just realize this shit, like, Okay, cool. Now I have 40 boxes more of the Sparks instead of 39. 
whatever. I'd much rather have like a good time with my dog, go hiking or doing a van. You know, I need to physically go outside. And I think it's like a realization. So that moment was a big wake up moment for me. And you might be like, oh, you're so negative against magic. Well, it's not I'm negative against magic. It's just that I realize that it is worthless. And it's not even the minimalist or being frugal. It, it, I, I just I just try to explain it to you in like a way that would make sense for uh, if you're younger. Um, a sealed box that you look at that's supposedly going up in value and so on, kind of like, a, I guess, like a stock. I don't, again, very bad comparison, but it is that you're hoping it can make more money from you. You're not getting much enjoyment from it. The fact that you just have a box of sealed things, you have so many dual lands, you have so many lotuses. What, what enjoyment do you get from it? Do you even look at your lotuses? I mean, I think from my point of view, it's when I start, stop uh, live streaming uh, two, three months ago, I didn't even go upstairs. So I have maybe $200,000 in these extremely ex expensive items that I don't even feel, I don't even go upstairs to look at. Why? Like if I was going to spend that much money and that much time and it did take time to acquire that position, wouldn't I like love that collection a little bit more than I do? Like the fact that I don't even look at it, the fact that I don't even care about it. I'm just opening new Pokemon packs, having a top time of my life with Crown Zenith, you know, and opening uh, double masters, <laughs> you know, win or lose, it's a gamble, right? But I'm having fun. I'm opening back, I'm having fun. At no point in time did buying those dual lands ever feel fun to me. It was only a business. I was trying to get them at a cheap price, trying to give yourself a little cushion and hope it doesn't go to zero. I don't know. I um, hope that like a lot of you older people, a lot of you OGs understand. I mean, I play Magic since beta. I mean, not many people, a lot of these new players, these MPL members, they, they haven't, they're not, they're not magic players in my opinion. And you might be like, oh, that's, that's gatekeeping. That's, it is what it is, right? What I will say is I'm an OG. Everyone who watches this channel from New Law Student, you know, one of the first magic YouTube channels and understands I've been around a long time. And only now did I realize, you know, when my dog has cancer and so on, that like this shit ain't going to go with you when you die. You know, the memories and your friends and your family. And then, you know, um, I just remember Norman, my, when I first came, he was a very goofy looking dog and that would be he's a more reserved dog as he got older. Uh, those are the things that, you know, when you go to bed, you think about, I don't think I honestly, for a long time, for about three months, I didn't, I totally forgot. I had a closet full of Rudy Chan investments. I, I honestly forgot that I even had a closet. I don't use that closet very much, so I don't open it. And then one day I opened it, I was like, oh shit, this is where the $30,000, $55,000 collection went. Isn't that hilarious, right? Like you, you, you pay $55,000 for a collection, you think that you would love it, that you would display it and show it. It's just in a closet, man, dude. This is shoved in a closet, just stacked as high as I can do. And then the closet went closed. Um, I, I mean, the closet is upstairs. Um, or, or, you know, even worse when these things get sent to storage. Now, I haven't been to my storage in probably four months now. I went to it when I was doing my live stream build out to pick cooler boxes to display. Um, but I haven't been back since that time. Uh, I have to go soon because I've accumulated too much in product, but that's, that's a different, that's not because I want to look at what's in there. It's because I have a problem with too much space or not enough space. Hi guys.